Today, we are going to be planting our potatoes. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Hey friends, it's Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. Today is May something. May 8th, right? And it's cold. It's way too cold for May. It's like 40 something degrees and I'm shivering. And I brought my peppers outside, but I probably shouldn't have because it's not even 50 degrees. But never know what you're gonna get and this spring is just a crummy one. Today, we are going to be planting our potatoes. Oh, and that breeze is so cold. Okay, so we have a lot of potatoes. I already planted a bunch of potatoes between the garlic sections, so between the, the low tunnels. Now we're gonna be planting potatoes really, really the easy way. We're just gonna be taking up some tarp that we've been using to kill off the weeds in an area of the original garden. And we're just gonna put a bunch of potatoes in the soil and put some hay over it. Super simple, we'll show you guys what we're doing. Kind of using the Ruth Stout method to plant potatoes. That's all we do. We don't ever mound potatoes or anything like that. We keep it really simple and it works for us. It feeds us for the year. We always have plenty of potatoes and it's easy peasy lemon squeezy so let's get going i want to show you guys these ridiculous potatoes that we are going to be starting with because these are ones that we harvested last year and they sprouted like crazy in our basement so we're gonna just go ahead and plant those i don't have high hopes for them but we have some beautiful looking seed potatoes from hudson valley seed company and those are our main potato crop this year not really sure where we're gonna plant those we'll see we'll see what happens Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Okay, let's go! Over the wood chips, through the wood detour we are gonna move the chicken fencing we don't have any chickens in there right now so we're gonna take up the premier one fencing and just kind of get that to the side because there's a big area we could plant in that fencing that would be really good for potatoes because the chickens have been on it so let's get that done From all things at once Without thinking oh twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind So we have these potatoes They were sitting in a five gallon bucket And they have some gnarly sprouts on them But they're great They're actually great seed potatoes So I'm just gonna spread them out Maybe like 6 to 12 inches apart in this pile and then just pile the hay on top and they will grow right through so i'll time lapse it so you can see my process but um these were just sitting in the basement they're not like prize seed potatoes or anything like that and we don't really have the time or the space to plant these out perfectly so the goal right now is just to get them down on the ground get the hay on top so that, that we can grow something with this instead of just composting it so I've got this big pile right here. These are all seed potatoes. Some really nice sized ones. Some like tiny little puny fingerling ones. But I'm just gonna spread them all out in this area and then take this hay, which came right out of our goat pen, and it's gonna go right on top of these potatoes. So 
searching for something that ain't lost. Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken, misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say, Do you feel the same way? Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the potatoes are coming up. So here we have some volunteer potatoes and they're just coming up right through the hay, as you can see. So these guys, as I mentioned, they're volunteers, which means that we missed some potatoes last year when we were harvesting and they just decided to sprout and grow this year. So we'll have so many potatoes. We have Three, one, two, three, three sections in this bed right behind me with the low tunnels. And then we have that big section in the front over there, that, that one that I planted, that bucket of potatoes, and then that big section in the back where I just planted the Hudson Valley Seed Company potatoes. By the way, the varieties of Hudson Valley Seed Company potatoes that I planted, I'm gonna put right here so you can see what I planted. For the first time, I'm growing a russet potato. I'm hoping these are gonna be great for things like fries, fries, and mashed potatoes. So it says that they're great resistant to flea beetles and Colorado potato beetles, which is awesome because we have both of those like crazy. This is called King Henry potato. I got some Adirondack blue. It's, they're so beautiful. I love having blue or purple potatoes. I feel like their flavor is so much better too. One of my favorites to grow is like a gold potato or like a butterball potato. This one's um, a Cuca gold, which is a rival of the Yukon gold. I also got Magic Molly, which is a purple fingerling type. And then this one is called Upstate Abundance. And it is just small, uniform potatoes that yield all season long. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. But thanks to Hudson Valley Seed Co, we used to have some beautiful, beautiful seed potatoes. We've actually always gotten a really good yield planting them this way. I know it seems a little crazy. It seems a little haphazard, not very organized, but it yields good results. And we have lots of potatoes all year long. Okay friends, there you have it. There's a super easy way of planting potatoes. I will give you an update with our potato harvest so that you can see how easy it is to grow potatoes. Literally just put them down on some soil, put a bunch of really nice rotted hay on top and harvest them once they're ready. But it's been a long day outside. I'm pretty wiped. It's gonna be time for me to pump again soon and time for uh, rest. So let's go inside. I'm going to hang out with my family, hang out with baby Kai, and I'll see you guys soon.